Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about, you already know it, you already guessed it because you read the title correctly. We're gonna be talking about who I'm voting for. We're gonna be talking about, am I voting for Trump? Am I voting for Biden? Am I voting? You know, who am I voting for? Well, how about this? I'm gonna kill a little bit of suspense and I'm gonna tell you exactly who I'm voting for right now. I'm actually gonna have a write-in I'm gonna do a write-in ballot, and I'm gonna write in Gizmo. Now, I know that Gizmo, by the way, for those of you guys that don't know, you know, Gizmo is my dog. So I know for some of you guys that out there that don't know, um, you know, he's a dog, number one. Number two, he's also a Mexican citizen. So, you know, right off the bat, he's probably automatically disqualified being a dog and being uh, Mexican. But that's who I'm voting for, all right? That's how much faith I have left in the system. But, you know, the reality is, is that, you know, I'm just keeping it vague, you know, to tell you the truth, you know, just to play with your emotions out there. Because I know a lot of people clicking on this video have their opinions about what's going on and all that good stuff. But the reality is, is that, you know, a lot of you guys want to know who I'm voting for, want to know who, who, what I support, want to know what I have on my mind. You know, cons you know, talk, you know, when it comes to the, the election. <clears throat> And when it comes to, uh, you know, what we're dealing with. And again, you know, for anyone out there that's still living under a rock and still has no idea about me and my channel and what I do here, you know, again, I left the U.S. I live in Mexico. This is where I spend most of my time. This is where I spend most of my time right now. And so with that being said, now what I tend to do is I tend to participate in things out here. And I'm part of this community. And this is where I live. And this is what matters to me right now, okay? And um, that's that's basically it. So, you know, when it comes to, you know, talking about, you know, uh, pol politics in the US, I don't talk about it in the same way most people like you guys, you know, they're living in the US, talk about it. Because right now, you know, the whole thing is just a ginormous game. The whole thing is, uh, you know, just political theater. It's not even political theater. It's real theater. You know, um, like Shakespeare said, you know, uh, the world is a stage and we are merely players. And in this case, you know, we're not, we're barely even that. You know, we're out here, you know, we think that we're involved. We think that, um, you know, our vote matters, that we think that, you know, we're actually going to cause a difference or create, you know, but no. You know, the reality is, is that's not the case. So it's the same thing with um, the president, you know, at the moment. Um, as, you, as a lot of you guys know, um, the first time around, you know, I voted for him. And uh, just like I voted for Obama, um, and I voted for him once, you know, thinking that there was going to be amazing change and it was going to change the world and all this, all this stuff, yada, yada, yada. And then by the time the second election came around, I, I, I saw what a fraud he was. And the same thing with, uh, with Trump. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there, you know, um, support Trump and listen to me. A lot of you guys don't support him and want to see him die. You know, orange man bad, you know, orange man bad. But what I keep telling all of you guys is that it doesn't really matter. You know, you're just basically watching a, a football game. You're basically watching a, a, a baseball game, you know, and uh, all they're doing is splitting everybody up, you know, be, you know, to, for, for everybody to pick a side whether it's the Democrats or the Republicans or whatever side it is. Um, and then, you know, have you fight, have you fight for your side no matter what. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, and I'll give you a couple of examples. You know, if you're on the left, if you're, if you're on the left, all of a sudden, you know, Things like pedophilia are okay. All of a sudden, like putting people in jail for no reason are okay. All of a sudden, being racist against white people and other races is okay. Um, and all that shit. If you're on the right, it's totally okay for the police to fucking beat the shit out of you to death. It's totally okay for you to get caught up in the system. If you're again, if you're on the right, it's totally okay um, for the for President Trump to fucking go into deeper debt. For, for President Trump to say, hey, um, I'm gonna let the Federal Reserve inside. I'm gonna let the Federal Reserve be in charge of uh, the Treasury. And so again, like I said, it doesn't matter what team you're on. If you're on a team, 
then you're going to fight for that team no matter what and you're not going to see you're not going to see all the horrible things that your team is doing because again like i brought the analogy up not too long ago the same same exact analogy you know about you know when uh, we're talking about sports you know if all of a sudden there's a there's a sports player out there there's like a football player that commits murder and rapes people if that guy that commits murders and rapes people is on your team you love the guy but if the guy that you know again if the same murderous you know horrible person you know what i mean is not on your fucking team but instead he is on uh he is on the other team then you hate him you know again it's very simple just uh, I mean, you know same as it ever was so it's the same thing you know right now if you're just playing that identity politics bullshit if you're playing uh you know a lot of the games that they want you to play then you are literally following orders exactly how they want you to follow orders you're doing as you're told whether you think you are or not you know just because uh you are against you know orange man or you're on orange man's side it doesn't matter where you are you're you're doing what they want you to do they're controlling you they're forcing your you know your ideals and your and, and morals into a certain direction because again all of a sudden all of a sudden in what world is it okay you know for you to you know in, in what world is uh, pedophilia okay in what world in what world is it okay for the government to steal all your money and all your wealth in what world are any of these things okay and um the reality is you know the reality is that the only world in which any of these things are okay is in the world that we're living in now you know the world that you are allowing okay by participating in one shape form or another and look I'm, I'm, I'm breaking this video because a lot of people out there because of all the things that I say on my channel you know there's a lot of people out there that literally think I'm either a Trump supporter or a Biden supporter just because of the things that I say and it's funny because in some videos I'll literally get you know in some videos I'll literally get uh, some people you know what i mean like for example on one particular video i'll have people you know interpret what i have to say as pro biden or pro trump <laughs> you know which is fucking crazy you know like again the same exact thing <clears throat> to do two different types of people was completely two different you know interpretations of that so again i find that very funny very hilarious and it's the same thing again you know what i mean it's all about you know um most people are just you know treating this like sports and the reason i can uh the reason i can interpret this a little better is because i'm a big sports guy i like sports and anyone out there that knows sports you know exactly what's going on and that's all they're doing with all this nothing new same old same old so you know again you know going back to like who am i voting for well i am voting for anybody and i'm not gonna vote for anybody no matter what country I'm in, no matter what I do, because I know that this whole thing is just a game. And um, the best way to not lose, okay, is by not playing the game. Now, there's many games that are going on because I'm always telling you guys to play the game, participate. Now, I'm talking about financials. I'm talking about other things. And that's the thing. You need to, t again, like I always talk about Monday motivation. All, all the things I talk about on all the channels, they're all tied in into the one, you know, into basically one giant message. And it's basically for you to, to think for yourself, for you to stop allowing these uh, corporations and these other entities to think for you and all that stuff. You got to be able to... Um, you gotta be able to make these decisions for yourself at whatever cost. And most people, they don't wanna think. Most people don't wanna think for themselves. Most people don't wanna make a decision. Most people wanna have somebody else or something else make the decision for them so that when it, because when it does go wrong, they can blame that thing instead of blaming themselves. And again, it's the same old thing with what we're doing here now. 
You know, it's the same old thing. People just, um, people don't want to be wrong. People don't want to be wrong. So then that's why all of a sudden you see people that are staunch supporters of Trump. All of a sudden, you know, they're, you know, basically talking to you and saying like, oh yeah, but you know, he's going to end the Fed. I'm like, no, he's not. You know, he's doing the opposite of that. Oh, but he's stopping. Uh, we got the best economy ever. No, we don't. No, we don't. It's the complete opposite of that. And then again, and, and everything, you know what I mean? Now again, there are some positives from Trump, don't get me wrong. There's a few positives. And a lot of these positives, you know, they're, they're coming from, you know, a lot of these positives, you know, they're basically coming from, you know, like uh, other other methods, you know what I mean? Like, um, you know, meaning for example, like uh, if, if, it's, if it wasn't for Trump, you know, we would be full politically correct right now. You know what I mean? You think the politically correct situation is bad now? Do you guys remember four years ago? You know? Do you guys remember before um, when Obama was president and, and Hillary was a, was probably going to take over? You know, what we were going to be expecting when it came to the politically correct thing? Like, come on now. So, you know, definitely like there. You know, another thing is like Trump has not started any new wars. You know, he's just moved our troops out of certain areas and moved them in other areas. Um, and so on and so forth. You know, instead of becoming, a, you know, globalist and NWO, um, you know, we're actually becoming nationalistic and we're taking care of um, the, the U.S. first and foremost before going out there and taking care of the interests of uh, other countries and other entities. So, you know, there's certain things that he's doing that are actually pretty good and not terrible. But again, you know, um, I, I wish I could sit here and talk to you about some of the good positive things that Obama did, but there weren't any. In fact, I opened the, the forum to you guys. I opened the floor so you guys can tell me what good things Obama did. And the same thing I'm, I'm talking to you now about, um, you know, about uh, about uh, Biden and Kamala. Name one good thing that they've done or one good thing that they're going to do. Either or. In fact, I'm going to throw it out there. Again, I'm going to leave it super wide open. Just name one thing that either one of them has done good, okay? Or they're gonna do, okay? So I'm leaving it wide open. You know, we're going back 47 years for Biden and we're going forward, you know, um, to see what he can do. And uh, again, I have yet to see anyone out there tell me one positive good thing that these individuals are gonna do or bring or whatever. And that's the truth, okay? So, that's why a lot of people out there think that I'm going to be voting straight for, for Trump because of the things that I say, just like some people think I'm voting for Biden because of the things that I say, because I'm very critical of both. But if I were to fucking have to choose with a gun to my head and only have to pick one or the other, then of course I'm going to pick Trump, you know what I mean? Because at the very least, you know what I mean? At the very, very least, you know, with Trump as president, you know, we're, we're laughing all the way down the fucking shitter. You know we're you know we're we're fucking going to hell. We're dying. You know what is it? We're, we're, we're the ship is the ship is sinking, but at least we got the music playing. You know we're taking drugs. We're ta we're drinking. We're fucking whores or or guys or whatever you prefer. You know it's a it's a grand old time. You know the ship. You know we're going down with the Titanic, but at least it's a fucking party all the way to the fucking grave. You know as opposed to if you pick in you know like the Democrat side. I mean you know you're going straight to the FEMA camp. You know, that's it, you know what I mean? They, they've already said it. You know, if you pick the other side, you know, there's no fun, there's no drinking, there's no drugs, there's no nothing, except you're going straight to the fucking FEMA camp. That's all that's going on. So, you gotta keep that in mind. So, you know, at the end of the day, if my gun, you know, if I had a gun to my head and I had to pick one or the other, you know, I'm picking the party, man. I'm partying all fucking day, all night. You know what I mean? Are you kidding me? One life. So, you know, it's as simple as that, you know what I mean, when it comes to that. And that's that's basically it, you know what I mean? So, you know, normally, I would be a little, you know, I mean, not normally, always, I'm very open-minded, and I want people to, you know, give me, you know, their opinions on the whole fucking thing. But again, the, the, the closer we get to election day, you know, the less and less people want to fucking talk about this. Meaning, it's, it's to the point now, it's so bad, it's so bad that we had to cancel one of the debates. That's how fucking bad it is. That one of the debates, the second debate, or got canceled. Um, and that, that goes to show you a lot about the state of the country, about the state of a lot of these things.
that really goes to show you like a lot more about what we're dealing with you know the fact that you know they can't even have a discussion and so you know now coming to like the whole trump thing you know a lot of people are, are wondering or curious you know why anyone would want to vote for trump and the reality is is that just like the first time around the system the system is fucking the people the people have absolutely nothing Look at that fucking loser throwing a fucking can out the window. See, there's always going to be losers no matter what. Anyways. But the point I'm making is that... That, uh... What was I saying? <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. I lost my train of thought. Oh, my God. I guess it wasn't that important. It's no big deal. But anyways, you know, all I'm saying is that... Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember what I was saying. You know, just basically saying that you know a lot of people that are voting for this guy right now just like they voted for him the first time and you know just like all that bullshit was the, is the fact that you know it's a big fuck you to the system the system has been fucking a good majority of the people the, the system has been literally raping and pillaging everybody for god knows how long and the people have had enough and this is um you know voting trump in the first time and this and again the second time is just a big fuck you to the system the system has already sent a big fuck you to all of you guys and so now you know everyone is trying to they send a big fuck you back to the system and that's all it is you know a lot of people just don't get that and that's the thing is because most people that are you know voting for the democrats or biden or whoever they are so out of touch or so under a rock that they have no idea that the system is fucking anybody at all and that's a shame too because again most americans all right most of you guys good 95 percent of you are getting fucked by the system all right even if you're working the system and taking advantage of the system the system is still fucking don't get it twisted and most of you guys already know that and that's the thing you know what i mean that's kind of where we're at speaking of which let me see where we're at i'm gonna make sure all right we got a few more minutes we're gonna bike around a little bit longer And so, yeah, I mean, today's episode, hey, doggy, hey, he's like, I'm walking here, I'm walking here, I yeah, know, I know, let's go, uh, walk. let's go ride it over here real quick, but yeah, man, you know what I mean, at the end of the day, it's just like, the people have had enough, and um, the people don't know what else to do, and um, you know, you got your people on both sides of the aisle. You know, again, you're gonna be the, you're gonna have the hardcore Trump supporters. You're gonna have the hardcore um, Biden de Democrat supporters. But a good majority of the voters are right in the middle. Most of the voters are just again moderate, right in the middle, and they have uh, just have had enough. Their displeasure with the system has already taken it to the point where. They don't know what else to do except vote in a fucking game show host. You know what I mean? And that's it. You know? And that's where we're at now. And again, you know, when most people have to fucking choose, if you're an American, you know, who are you going to choose? You're going to choose somebody that is literally a Nazi and going to be treating you, you know, like a fucking, like an animal and, uh, and um you know forcing you to wear a mask and forcing you to do this and forcing you to do that and for, you know what i mean all of these fucking things or are you gonna go with the guy that doesn't give a fuck about anything and is gonna let you you know again party the way you want to party as the ship is going down okay because like i said i don't like either one of them i think they're both terrible one more terrible than the other you guys already know which one all right and um and we're at the point where we're voting for lesser two evils to the point where, again, you know, I think that once this guy becomes president again, once Trump gets reelected, I think we're going to go straight into martial law. I think it's going to be straight law and order like he keeps promising. And um, not only is he going to stop those Antifa rallies and, and he's going to stop all those fucking riots, but he's going to stop everything. He's going to stop you. He's going to stop everybody, even his supporters. And he's going to force everybody to do as they're told or else. And that's where we're gonna be. And that's a straight up honesty, you know? So, and that's the way I see it, you know what I mean? And again, if it's the other guy, if it's Biden, he's just gonna fucking let the bankers do even more banking shit, and then he's gonna fucking, uh, you know, sign uh, 
whatever deal with China, and all of a sudden we're gonna start turning more Chinese in our economies. You know what I mean? Not just our economy, but I mean, uh, in the way we do things on a social level, and the way we do things on a, you know, again, you know, just exactly how they're doing things in uh, China with uh, the social credit score, and they're doing things with all the cameras and all that shit. You know, that's what Biden and the left want to bring to the U.S. And they're not hiding it either. They're telling you that's what they're going to bring to the U.S. And again, it's not like Trump is not doing that. He's also doing that, but in a completely different way. In a completely different way, you know what I mean? Where, you know, a country like, uh, I mean, uh, I mean uh, a president like Biden um, and the Democrats or whatever are trying to push so that China is in control of the world. And someone like Trump is basically saying, no, we are still in control. We are the USA. We're number one and we're going to remain in control until somebody knocks us the fuck off. You feel me? So again, no matter how you fall on the spectrum, I think if you're American voting in an American election, you want a president that has your American best interest at hand and not the interest of any country out there. Because again, I'm living in another country, but you know, <laughs> I want my president of whatever country I'm in to be taking care of the people in that country. All right? I don't want the Mexican president to be taking care of the fucking people in Cuba or taking care of uh, you know people in other parts of the world. You know what I mean? Like Mexican president, take care of Mexico. I mean, are you kidding me? <laughs> you know? Same thing with the US. US take care of the US. If we take care of the U.S. so good and so well that we got extra resources to help others, all right, so be it. But we got to take care of our own shit. And right now, our shit's falling apart. And one president is saying that we're going to fix it, and the other one is saying we're not going to fix it because, you know, we're entitled and we don't deserve it. All right? And again, I know Trump hasn't fixed anything except build a wall, but it's not the point. It's not the point. You know exactly what I mean. You know, at least there's some action there. And uh, we've seen the action on the other side of the aisle and again is bringing in communism and from somebody you know from somebody that has come you know uh from a family in which you know we dealt with communism and that's still a very very real visceral thing in my life and my family um are you kidding me you know why would i want to bring that why would i want to bring that to my uh to my country of origin which is the usa and that's it you know what i mean so at the end of the day i don't like i don't like trump definitely don't but I hate communism even more. And I think that that's where a lot of people stand. You know, we don't like Trump, but we sure as hell don't like communism. So, all right, well, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I really gotta go, I'm already home. So, you already know the deal. Guys, I really, really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. If you like this kind of content, let me know. I'm gonna make more. Um, and let me know what other kind of topics you want me to talk about. We're going to be talking about all kinds of things. I'm definitely going to be focusing on Mexico. Um, you know, talking about politics out here and other things that are going on out here. I know you guys enjoyed a few of the episodes I made on that. I'm going to make more on that. But, you know, I kind of wanted to make this episode real quick to just throw it out there. You know? Even though I know most people are going to watch this and they're still going to be. Anyways, making up whatever mind they want to make up. So, all right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Love you. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.